First, a few photos from my collection of garden creatures I love. Ugh, now squash bugs, a most irritating garden pest after the groundhogs. Well, in my opinion. In this quick video, let's discuss how to handle and prevent them. A DIY, foolproof, cheap solution you already have on hand. Nothing extra to buy. First, I'm out here with these Peter Pan Summer Squash Hybrids. And I just spotted my first squash bug eggs on a couple of leaves, so I'm going to tend to them. But look, I also have spotted ones that have just hatched. So if you, these are very, very pretty. These are very, very irritating. So the solution is I am going to dunk this whole entire thing into my jar of soapy water. I'm going to pinch out these eggs or you can do the whole thing. And I'm going to cover it, shake it up, leave it, and I'm basically going to drown these squash bugs. And then I'm gonna go through and check all of what I just pruned. And I'm just gonna put it in the garbage. I do not want to just leave it out here for those squash bugs to actually hatch and go everywhere else in my beautiful little garden here. Cause I got enough issues as it is. And this normally happens while I will discover squash bugs about August, almost towards the end because I do not plant squash, zucchini, or pumpkin in the same place year after year. You gotta move them around. And I did not plant any, I don't think I've ever planted squash or zucchini right here. So after this, I'm gonna have to have a two year waiting period so that you can prevent having all of this happen full grown. These are just little babies, but they are so irritating and they're not just going to stick to your squatcher squash or zucchini plants when i planted a green machine hybrid zucchini over here it infested everything so i ripped it up because i felt it was really unproductive and it was causing a lot of squash bug issues for me feel free to watch that video but i basically just gave you a spoiler alert so there. i have completely got almost every leaf off of there except for the very top and you can see how much more of a pile that I have here. Now the whole entire Kubrick family will also get squash bugs so all of your gorgeous cucumbers. This is one of the best cucumbers I've ever grown. This is the General Lee. I'm going to attach that video to this one here and she is fantastic so you can watch that so i found some more that have eggs on the back of the leaves that's usually where they appear i actually found some on the front of a leaf oh, that's very odd for this variety here I, for some reason they're not pollinating well these were just on the floor, nice on the ground, nice and mushy. The first thing that I did was I put the infants in here, and then I'm gonna go ahead and add the seeds that I found to the water. And I can see I've got a few more in here. Guys, these um, squash bugs, they lay, they can hatch within five to 10 days laid. That is also why I went ahead and I got really prune happy here. And I checked the back of all of these leaves on everything. And you can see right here, it's the only one that I have that's viable for picking. I have two more 
uh, in the refrigerator. This would be number six that I could actually eat, and it's August. These are supposed to be prolific. I'm not finding that to be true. They are fancy, but they are not prolific. What I will do is I will attach the Italian vining zucchini that was huge, prolific, and I did not have any squash bug issues. Mainly because I grew it back here on an archway, took the archway down midpoint because it's huge, they're huge. I never planted squash here, so it took it a long time to find it. Now, with my cucumbers being over here, I have planted these here for the last three years. I love them growing up the fence. However, I might want to consider finding another spot for these because this might be part of the problem, part of the culprit. I do have them growing next to marigolds and that was a very much intentional since they do help with your squash bug issues. All right, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna finish this up. I am going to go get a bag. I'm gonna seal it because I don't want anything else coming out here. And I'm gonna put it in a lidded trash can and garbage pickup is tomorrow. And you're gonna have to stay on it. You have to stay, now that you've seen it, you've gotta stay on it. You've gotta be checking it. That's one of the downfalls of squash. Um, usually one of the upticks maybe you could say one of the positives is that squash will be heavy producers for you and usually very easy but once you spot your squash bugs you have to take care of it before it becomes a real nuisance and you can see I also have marigolds here and I also have marigolds over here next to my melons also part of the cubert family so I have planned accordingly, and I'm very glad that they sort of stayed back until August. And more marigolds right here. With this gorgeous melon. I'm gonna do a full video on this. This is a French melon, medium size. I've got two growing side by side here. This one is doing fantastic for me. It's about the third year I've grown this. I'm very pleased with this. I'll see if I can attach this as well. to the end if you would like to watch that. I'm also going to do a full video on these marigolds. Super easy to start from seed and they have gotten very very huge for me. I mean look at that right there. Very very huge for me. Marigolds are also great with keeping away your tomato worms. So it was no mistake that I had flanked the squash, marigold, six new varieties of tomatoes and marigolds again. So you can help yourself out, but once you see this is developing, you have to stay on top of it. There's no getting around it. Sorry guys. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching and I invite you again to subscribe as I have been gardening for over 40 years and have a lot to teach, show, grow, review, experiment with, and my favorite, a specific variety everything deep dive. So let's try new things together, mix it up, and have a glorious day.